Hello and welcome to Dish Shelved with Adam White. Uh, I got a few comments on my uh, Trashy Books tag about the secret shame that I've actually read Twilight and I felt like I needed to do a video that clarified why that set of circumstances came about. Uh, so here's the way it goes. Back in about 2000, I was working at a Barnes & Noble when the fourth Harry Potter book came out. That was about the height of the phenomenon at the time. And I thought, well, eh, everybody's talking about it, so I'll read the first Harry Potter book and see what I think. Uh, I read it. I liked it. I didn't think there was anything particularly original in it. But uh, I guess that's for another video. But I thought that what... J.K. Rowling did was put together familiar themes and tropes and familiar characters and put them in a situation that was a very inviting read. She had an inviting, inviting style to her prose that uh, made it an interesting read. So I read the other ones. I read the second, third, and fourth book because those were the only ones out at the time. And I really enjoyed them, and I thought, oh, I'm, I'm glad I did that. Uh, so fast forward uh, about, I'd say, eight years or so, and the, I think it was the, it was either the third or the fourth Twilight book was coming out. I'd never heard of it. And I was working at a bookstore, and I thought, well... It, it's this big phenomenon. The last time that happened, it was Harry Potter, and I read it, and I enjoyed it. And I thought, well, maybe there's something to this. Uh, so I got the first book, Twilight, and I read it. And that's where the problem started. Uh, <laughs> I am glad that I've read it in the sense that when I say bad things about it, I can say it with the knowledge of having read it, so I'm not just bad-mouthing it out of spite, but I guess there is some spite because I really hate that I wasted my time on that book. Uh, the Here's what it says about it. Fall in love with the addictive, suspenseful love story between a teenage girl and a vampire with a book that sparked a literary phenomenon and redefined romance for a generation. Isabella Swan's move to Forks, a small, perpetually rainy town in Washington, could have been the most boring move she ever made. But once she meets the mysterious and alluring Edward Collin, Isabella's life takes a thrilling and terrifying turn. Up until now, Edward has managed to keep his vampire identity a secret in the small community he lives in, but now nobody is safe, especially Isabella, the person Edward holds most dear. The lovers find themselves balanced precariously on the point of a knife between desire and danger. Deeply romantic and extraordinarily suspenseful, Twilight captures the struggle between our defying our instincts and satisfying our desires. This is a love story with bite. That pretty much spoils the whole book, because that's all that happened. Uh, that's it. This teenage girl falls for a vampire, and should she, should she or shouldn't she? And that's it. The book had no plot whatsoever. There's no, I, I can't talk about a plot because there was no plot. That pretty much summarized accurately. That was the whole book. You could read that and you've read Twilight. <sighs> Absolutely. I, I, I should have DNF'd it. But I try to finish what I read. And I, keep th I kept thinking, okay, this book's so popular. Surely to goodness something happens. And I kept reading and reading. And nothing happened. And I was thinking, why, if you're this ageless vampire, you've got all these powers, and you live for, or essentially forever, unless something happens, and you've got all this power and time on your hands, what do you do? 
let's go back to high school. You know, I have nightmares about going back to high school. It was so boring and such a waste of time. And yet here these ageless vampires with all this power want to all go back to high school and pretend they're a family and and spend all their time being a snotty little clique in high school and falling for teenage girls. And and I, I just, that doesn't make any sense. Why would you do that? Plus, that's just a perfect way to get caught at being something you're not or something you are if you're making yourself public every day going to school, especially when you're so much older. And why would you want to be there? That doesn't make any sense. It's just there to service the I can't say plot or story because there was none. Uh, and you keep reading and reading and reading and reading. And then you get towards the very end and what should be the climax of a story. She gets caught by the bad guys the bad vampires and the good vampires show up to rescue her and you think, oh, here, finally, you're going to see something happen. Something finally is going to happen in this book. And then Isabella gets knocked out and then she wakes up and the fight's over and done with. So you didn't even get to see that. That was the one thing that could have had some kind of action in the book. And, and she gets knocked unconscious, so you don't get to see it. And it's like, okay, well, we skipped over anything that might have been interesting, and now we're back to the pointless worthlessness that is this book. And it just absolutely blew my mind. I wanted to, I almost threw it across the room when I finished it. But I hate I hate tearing up books. I'm I'm all against burning books, or because this would have been one I would have burned. Uh, I'm against burning books or defacing books. I don't dog dog ear my books. I take very good care of my books. I eventually gave it to my early teenage sister, who I think liked it, but that was the audience she was looking for. Um. <sighs> Again, I read it because of the Harry Potter phenomenon, and I read that and liked it, and I thought this was perhaps a case of that happening again. It wasn't. This is terrible. I'm sure all the other books were just as terrible in this series. I certainly never read those and never will. Uh, I, there's so many other books out there that people could like and that could be a phenomenon. Uh Fill in a Woods book that I reviewed, for example, uh, I think it was The Heart of the Bloodstone. That could target the same audience that Twilight targets, except her book is fantastic and literate and has a lot of great things going on about it. The characters are great, the situations in it are great. It has a lot of the same themes that this book professes to have, which it doesn't. And here, that book by Phil in a Wood is, is just overlooked and can't find an audience. And I'm wondering why. That doesn't make any sense to me. Why a book like that that's actually good and could target the same audience never gets seen by them, yet something like this piece of crap, Twilight, is such a phenomenon. And it said several times in there that it was suspenseful. The only suspense I had was, was something going to happen? Because that's the only thing that kept me in suspense, and it was a mild suspense at that. And absolutely nothing happened in this book. Like I said, the one time something was going to happen, you're like, yes, finally. She gets knocked out and you don't see it. And then the whole thing about being on Team Edward or Team uh, Jacob, maybe. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Uh, it's always which 
everybody that loved the book was talking about which team they're on, who should Isabella go really go for in love. And I'll tell you right now, I'm on team Blade the Vampire Hunter uh, from Marvel Comics. I'm on team Blade, and I think he should team up with Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And I think they should go to this small town in Washington and terminate this nest of vampires with extreme prejudice. And, and I mean, do it violently and publicly and say, look, these vampires were in your midst. We're doing you a favor. And there would definitely be some stakings and some cap decapitations and really get rid of this nest of vampires. And if they want to get rid of Bella too, go for it. Because she's dumb enough to fall in love with a vampire anyway. So that's whose team I'm on. Uh, but again, that's how that's the circumstances of how I came to read this book and why I think it was so bad. And I thought that there was an explanation owed after my mention of it on my uh, trashy books tag because this book is trash. It's garbage. And I don't mean that trashy in a fun way or trashy in an interesting way. It's not even trashy in the way I would define most romance books. It's just pure garbage. It's crap. Don't ever read it. If you have, sorry. I have too, and I feel bad about it. But uh, I really can't tell you enough. Do not read this book. Do not believe the hype. If you want to read it, like I said, go to Amazon and read the description. There you've read the book. Because that's all it is. And I'm sure the others are just the same. And, again, Team Blade and Buffy. Uh, we need, these people should have, these vampires should have been gotten rid of in a hurry. And they're sparkly vampires like fairy folk. Not... I mean, they're still brooding and dark, and they're the goth crowd. At a high school. Come on. Really? I mean, seriously. This book was just pure junk. Crap, garbage, trash, call it what you want. I hate Twilight. And I wish I'd never read it, but again... On the other hand, I'm kind of glad I did because I know what I'm talking about when I tell you it's bad. Because I, I, I would never trash talk something that I haven't read or seen. I might refuse to read or see something based on the circumstances of its making, but I would never say, oh, I know that's bad unless I've actually read it or seen it. And I've read this, and it's bad. It's real bad. So, don't read Twilight. Don't see the movies, because I, I can't even go into that. I haven't seen them, but this is reading the book was why. Uh, terrible, terrible, terrible. Stephanie Myers is a boring writer. Didn't have any plan going into this book and came out of it without a plan. Other than maybe I can have just a little bit of teen angst in here to capture the right crowd I'm going for, which is the early teenage girls who I guess don't have a lot of taste when it comes to books for as many people as got into this. And I hate to say that, but... <laughs> Otherwise, it wouldn't have become the phenomenon that it did. Uh, so all I can say is, if you want to read a book with somewhat similar thing, read Phil in, a book, Phil in a Woods book, Heart of the Bloodstone. Which again, I think, I'm pretty sure that's a title. I should have looked it up before I got back on here. But it was an excellent book. If you want to give a book to a teenager to read, give them that book. She deserves an audience. Twilight does not. I've gone on way too long about something that doesn't deserve it. So thank you for joining me this week, and I will see you next week.